The President's Cup Cybersecurity Competition has continually pioneered new ways of identifying the best cyber talent from across the federal workforce. Since its inception, the competition is always included an immersive component as the final challenge of the team's competition. After all, building the best cybersecurity team isn't as simple as taking the best five individuals and putting them together. A team has to be able to coordinate, collaborate, plan their activities together, and execute on that plan in unison. In its inaugural year, our competitors were welcomed to Armor, the Advanced Reconnaissance, Mitigation, and Operational Response Team. Teams faced a digital escape room challenge, captured, locked in a closet, and warned that the building was wired to explode. Our competitors had eight hours to escape using only their cyber skills, teamwork, and whatever they could find in their surroundings. The winning team analyzed network traffic to find the safe order to power on systems, worked together to maneuver a robot arm and gain access to new areas, and ultimately sabotaged a SCADA system to blow a hole in the wall and allow their escape. The following year, the Armored Director assigned our competitors to assist the Damage Response Task Force in battling a winter superstorm. With access to RADs, or remote access droids, Competitors could jump from location to location, helping a local hospital recover from a malware infection, getting a municipal data center back up and running after a crane collapse, hardening E911 services against attack, and even jury rigging a van to provide a satellite uplink for disconnected response centers so that rescue efforts could be coordinated. Tight integration between the game environment and the cyber simulation meant competitors could operate systems or even reconfigure networks in the game and affect the cyber environment. In year three of the competition, our competitors were called back to Armor headquarters as an alien race known as the Aurelians threatened all of humanity, demanding our immediate surrender. Our competitors had to secure national reserves of critical resources, identify alien agents hiding within their own ranks, and finally take over the aliens' command and control systems to lower the energy shield protecting their moon base. Unable to defeat Earth, the Aurelians agreed to an uneasy peace, trading faster-than-light technology for resources unique to Earth that they were unable to get by force. Earth's reach into the stars had just begun, when our Martian colony was infected by a dangerous hive organism called Harmony. Our competitors took control of humanity's first ever faster-than-light ship, the Dauntless, powered by the Aurelian's cube drive technology, and set across the stars to find a cure for the infection before it could spread to Earth itself. They saved a damaged space station from destruction, parlayed with space pirates, explored long-lost ruins, and even infiltrated a strange alien cult in their quest to find long-lost artifacts that could save humanity. Our competitors return to Earth as heroes. This year, our team once again found themselves called up to save humanity. An alien probe was damaged in an accident as it flew through our solar system. Our competitors had to repair the ship before its reactor went critical, lest the explosion cause destruction on a massive scale. As a part of this year's development, we pioneered a new generative AI video capability, which allows us to take live action video recordings and generate in-game footage matching our targeted artistic style. Five seasons, one thing in common, identifying the best in cyber defense.